podcast like this. Who gon' bring it to the table? Boss talk. Who your girlfriend favorite? Boss talk. We gon' do it how you want it. Boss talk. Yeah, everybody on it. Boss talk. It's a unique hustle. Check it, check it, check it. This is Unique House. It's your boy ECEO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing, official Miss Jamaica. What's going on? No, no, you know what walk on. Man, hey. And y'all don't forget to like, subscribe, follow us on all social media platforms, including we are now recently just started doing Patreon, so y'all definitely got to tap in. It only costs a little bit of some chump chain, so, you know, y'all got that real, real easy. But if y'all want to see the full-length interviews, that's the only place you're going to see it after a while. So we just trying to prepare y'all for this, okay? So y'all tap in. Man, hold up, man. We got a guy in here today, y'all. You don't need no introduction, man. Uh, I last seen him uh it was some stuff came out about soldier boy and all kind of stuff and i tried to call on like hey man hey hey <laughs> hey uh come on boss he's like man not right now you know i'm too chill for that i'm not gonna be speaking right now on that uh <laughs> it's your boy dj ice is in the building so you gonna have to wait till i'm ready to talk e get off of me with that <laughs> <laughs> how you doing man i'm doing good man Shit, just working hard <laughs> you yeah always as always i was very very uh Impressed with your last interview, man, and just the the knowledge that you uh, were able to uh, convey, you know, that day, and for our listeners to be able to hear that, I knew it was going to be something. Maybe you don't see it, you know, over, right like now. Like I could drop that video anytime that interview, and people are going to be able to learn from it. So thank you for that. For sure, man. Yeah. Okay. What do you think about it? No, it was a really dope interview. Like. You're so correct because I love the fact that you're dropping jewels and a lot of people, the things that you said in that interview, a lot of people didn't know. And I hope that they hit you up in your inbox or, you know, try to get further information from you. You know, I'm not sure if anybody did hit you up after that. For sure. Yeah, yeah I had people reach out. So, okay, that's yeah, good. That's always good. Wow. Helping out people, you know, that's what I, I like to do, so. That's good. What 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 you been up to, man? That's where I started off. See, man, getting ready to go to the Grammys. Yeah, a few working. people going to the Grammys. Yeah, I've been getting, I've been getting it. a little call saying I could even get in that thing. Yeah. If people got me on lists and everything else, but I don't feel like I'm gonna just jump up and go right now. I think you I'm gonna go. chill. You should go. It's, Why? So, you only. Know, I mean, for me, it's a once in a. Have you been before? Oh no, not at all. This will be your first time. Hmm? Okay, that's no, dope. For sure, we got six clients nominated. So you got six clients now. Tell us how that works. Cause you see, I like to break down. And who all were who all are the clients? Um, so we have Israel, who's actually from Arlington, the DFW mm -hmm. area. He produced "Wait for You." Okay. Uh, with Future Drake and Tombs. Then we have uh, Jakai. He did "Luckiest Man" with Chris Brown. Mm. Um, they have Marco Lenz and uh, Brook Beats. They're from Russia. Mm -hmm. Some of my Russian clients. They did uh, "Big Time" on DJ Khaled's album. Okay. And then we have uh, Makalo. He did "Arcane Angel." It's a Latin and got nominated for a Latin Grammy. Awesome. Wow. Congratulations, man. Appreciate it, man. That's, That's big, man. man. Like, like, did you ever think when you first started producing beats that uh, uh, you would be in this uh, circle like this? Uh, not at all. I thought I would just be a producer and a DJ. I was just trying to figure my figure my way out, out here in the DFW area making beats. Um uh, Big Mike Gorilla three two three back here. Shout out Big Mike Gorilla three two three. Uh, yeah, for sure. He's the head A and R too. Uh, the head A and R. Yeah, eighty eight too. Eighty eight back in the building again. Yeah, Shout man. out the crew is here. Uh, we already know how you come with it. It's very very structured. You know what I'm saying? Very thought out. Ain't nothing being done shooting from the hip like a lot of these cats. Yeah, so I gotta say respect. Big ups. Appreciate you know what I'm saying? <laughs> So, all right, so th that I brought up about Soldier Man, I was looking at a, a blog, and I seen your name come across, and it said that Soldier Boy had said something about, you know, you or something about your work. What was that all about? Explain to me what the heck I was watching. Uh, so he dropped, Soldier Boy dropped like three songs, and uh, he didn't clear them with my clients, so we just we took them down, and, you know, he was mad about that, you know. Um can't speak too much on it, but you know we're definitely about to get paid. So okay, so it's still not back up yet. Oh no, we well the songs they're off, they're completely like off taken down, yeah, right? Yeah, until they pay. So. But why would somebody as big as he is do something like that? He's been in the business a long time where he should know better. Um, unfortunately, the music industry is really predatory. So you know if you don't have people acting in good faith all the time, um, you know people use your stuff. In in our case, 
I manage um, a lot of loop makers. I do manage uh, producers too, but people use people's loops. They don't reach out to clear them, um, and they make they make money off these kids. Like today, uh, eighty eight took down the song, and the label had made sixty thousand mm. um, dollars in six months off one of our clients' loops. So we took mm. down the song. We did some negotiating, and you know we got our client over seven thousand dollars today. Um, and he still owed like another ten thousand on the master, um, so he just closed it out and he got his first plaque too. So, so you wow. only take that, congrats again. Yes, so you only take down songs that are um, reach a certain amount mon monetarily wise. What's that threshold that you be like? Okay, now we need to try to. That's a great question. Um, and so how we base it? We just base it basically off of our client. Um, we let them know that like if it's not over like five hundred thousand streams, it's not really like profitable. Mm -hmm. um, but if they want all of their money, some people do. Um, you know, we'll still go take it down. But let them know like it's not going to be as profitable. Yeah, because y'all see that they're using it and you're watching it, so you're watching to see if it get momentum and start growing. And you're like, okay, now we can, you know, try to do something about it because it don't make right. no sense. You contact the label if it's not doing good, right? No, they still want. To, they still going to make me take. We don't even contact the label because the labels. Take it down. Yeah, because the labels are the ones making the money off of all the right. uncleared stuff. So. But you take it down and then you pursue. You know, we take it down. Then the labels reach out and they uh. they be like, "Hey, what do we need to do to put this back up?" Um, mm -hmm. I'll let them know they need to pay our client in advance, masters, mm -hmm. um, and publishing too. So. That's crazy. So you don't have to reach out. They reach out to you. That's that's a, that's a smart way of doing it. Yeah, because you got the leverage now, and they yeah. want this. It's a usually a major song, so they want mm -hmm. it back up. So they're that's true. They, they they'll do whatever right. they want to do. Right. Yeah. So, but did you ever have anybody who didn't want to make it right, and it become like a um, a lawsuit or? No, because at the end of the day, it's business. In, in court, you have to like prove that you legit, uh, legit, uh, legitimately. Yeah, there we go. Um, mm -hmm. That you own it. Um, but the longest case we had, we just closed out. It took a year and a half. It was, okay. Um, this Latin artist named El Alpha. The mm -hmm. song's called 4K. It had like over 500 million streams. Wow. Um, and we took the song down, but it took a year and a half to like do all the negotiations. Mm hmm. And, yeah, we got to put back. I'm like, why they drag it out when they know that it's, it, they're going to lose anyway? Like, why? I don't know, man. Some people are just crazy like that. <laughs> they need it. They want the money. But, you know, the thing to me that's so baffling is that, say, okay, you manage all these different people. Mm -hmm. How do you really see all of these things? Because they make millions or thousands and thousands of songs a day. Right. And they put them out there. How do you catch every single one when someone uses it? Um. So... A lot of our clients, they have people who like follow them and like use their oh, loops, like okay. younger producers. Mm -hmm. So uh, younger producers are reach out, they'll hear something, they'll be like, hey, this this artist used this, and then they'll send it to me. Um, or we have like this technology we use, we can upload loops into containers digital, um, on the internet, mm -hmm. and we can scan them worldwide, and it'll tell us who's using our client stuff. See, that's, and that's then, good. And then we can, like you said, from there, like filter out the views and mm -hmm. pick which ones we want to go after. Mm. Um, and then claim those. Yeah, because that's the crazy thing about it. Because I'm like, I know y'all have a lot, and I would always wonder because this is this goes for every artist. Because I know that you have other artists who steal other people's music worldwide, not only in the U. S. Right. And redo it, do different things. And I'm like, how can they find out that these people are doing this thing right. till it, it get big and blow up? And I'm like, isn't that your song? Isn't that your beat? Isn't that? Right. It's just like uh, Katy Perry. She mm -hmm. just got sued. Uh, they, they use uh, some gospel uh, gospel bands uh, music and they won like 10, five, 10 million dollars mm -hmm. something crazy like that so, yeah. they've been doing that forever and I don't think it's ever gonna stop mm -mm. <laughs> but that's why A1 Music is here so that's what <laughs> we do but then it, it's smart and not because like if I'm an uh, unknown artist right mm -hmm. and I wanna blow up I want people to know me I'm gonna steal your beat or your whatever because everybody knows you and it might come out in the news somewhere that my name is going to get out there as right. much as, yes, I'm going to have to pay. I was going to pay regardless anyway. So might as well do it that way to get some free publicity. Yeah, that too. And and the main issue is like, it's not even the artists most of the time. It's really like the managers oh, okay. and like the artist's producer who like mess it up you know, for that artist and, you know, whoever's loop they're using at the time or whatever. Because most of the time the artists don't even know. No, not at all. But the producer who made the song definitely knows <laughs> definitely he, he knows. didn't play the melody on the piano. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, Got yeah. you. So, 
for sure. So when you, okay, so when you go to the Grammys mm. and you said you got to have a tux on, you know, I need to really go up in that thing. I really want to show yeah, them. Man, you should, I get you make a lot of mind. connections, a lot of network. Yeah, you know? I get on that red carpet, dance. I like to dance when I get in front of people. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Right, sure. So, so I mean, that's that's the part where y'all drinking. It. I never been, so I'm pretty sure y'all gonna be drinking up there and having a good time. Oh yeah, for sure. We're gonna be in the skybox with Sony. See so. what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Don't try to don't don't want to tell everything, but we know it's gonna have a good time. So so who who are the people that you like when you first get there? You got a link with certain people. They invite y'all. They they send out a list to everybody. Well, how do how does that work? Um. So the song uh, the songwriters they'll get like a Grammy invitation. Um. And then, you know, they'll set up all their information, get sent their ticket. Um, In our case, uh, my client, he's with, um, well, all my clients are nominated. They're with BeatStars and Sony. Um, So I know on the third, we have like a BeatStars dinner. They'll do stuff like that. Um, Sorry about that. Link with some music executives up until Grammys on the 6th, so. Wow. Uh, So are you you looking to win that thing? Yeah, for sure. That would be (laughs) great to win. But even just to be there is a blessing, right? Yeah, for the sure. The experience. Mm-hmm. I'm just, I'm going, I'm definitely going this time. I might not go again. You know, I just want to No, don't experience. say that. You're going to go every single year. You're going to have that nomination coming up every year. That's, that's wow. the goal, for sure. Mm-hmm. So how excited was you? Lil Baby's album, It's, on, it's Only Me, mm-hmm. that song. Um, what, how, did, how did that even happen? Uh, so our producers, um, Anthony Palmer, they sent... Um, we sent, they sent beats to uh, Angie. Um, it's uh, Little Baby's engineer. She's a female engineer. She actually just got nominated for female um, engineer of the year, so shout out to her. Um, but uh, send beats to the engineers. Artists get on the beats through the engineers. That's how that placement came about. So. Wow, and and how many people you got out of the country now? I don't know if she asked you that while I was over. Uh, I'm 50, I have 57 clients. 57 clients, because last time you didn't have that many. No, I had 14 last time. <laughs> 57. That's what, more than double what made, it, what made it grow like, like that? Uh, a lot of people need help. Um, a lot of people got their music stolen from them. Um, and then my goal, my goal with this business is to like scale the business, you know, so I'll make it bigger. I'm about to uh, partner up uh, next week. I signed my deal with Nick Jarjor, um, and just scale my business up to more producers and try to do something in the music industry that hasn't been seen before. So wow. we, we got 50 plaques this year. So 50, mm-hmm. dang, 50 mm-hmm. plaques. Yep. All, all uh, just not just bam work hard work. Yeah, we did a little Dirk. We did uh, Glorilla. And did Nut- a little Dirk uh, too. Yeah, Glorilla and Nutquick. Um, we did three on uh, Lil Dirk's new album that just came out. Um, NBA Young Boy, uh, Young and Ace, a whole bunch of Kodak, a whole bunch of other artists too. So. And all of these are through the loops that me and you talk about. Yep. They're always all, using those loops. All through loops, except for Israel. Israel actually played the bass line that was sampled on Wait For You. Wow. Yeah, they took it off the uh, Genius video. Um, he's in the background with Sonic Major, Cash Page's producer from here. That's them in the background. If you pull up the Tim's Genius Live, that's them on the guitars in the background. Wow, that's crazy, man. And you, you, do you think that it's, uh, you, you think that, that it's going to grow some more? How many do you see it doing this year or is, uh, people that will come under that umbrella? Um, now that I got some help, uh, for sure, I'm trying to get to like 100. Come to 100? Mm-hmm. Is it easy to maintain and deal with, with yeah, that? Yeah, for sure. You just got to stay organized, stay on top of everything, answer everything in real time, and and be good yeah yeah that's the, that, that's the whole game because when you think about it it's uh it's crazy to me how you know this music industry over time when it first came out it was hand to hand tangible it were things that people could do they could you could sell this and buy that and it was hand to hand and people knew they would count the album the sales the the it wasn't streaming at the time Y'all were young. Y'all didn't know nothing about this. <laughs> right. We had cassettes. We had eight tracks. We had eight tracks. We had, we yeah, we had vinyls. We had things. Right. And as we were doing our thing, you know, people were basically having a good time. I don't think it was as thought out as you guys are doing now. It wasn't as widespread. Right. People was making organic music with instruments. Right. 
that basically they picked up. Oh, don't, 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 don't. And right. it, it, but now, but they, but they see back in the day they used to just get work for hires. Correct. See, I still mess with them type of people, the people who make the loops, the instrumentalists. That's who were protecting. I was impressed with Double A. He came on here. Double A. Double A is a uh, Double A is a uh, uh, he he produced for NBA Young Boy as well, okay. and uh, he came he flew in and came on Boss Talk, and uh, he did also produced for uh, Kodak Black. Okay, awesome. but the one thing I liked about him when he came is he came here to perform, and everybody that was with him played an instrument, right. and I thought that was live. Yeah, that's fire. You know what I'm saying? Because you don't right. really see people doing like like that anymore. Right. And that's what that's what kind of makes uh, Israel so special right now. Like Sony really loves him. He can play literally every instrument in the room. That's it. Kind of like when you can do that, because um, a lot of people can't do that now. It kind of like takes over the music room because people are just so impressed with that. You know, if you can play the instrument, play down chords and different progressions. You know, for the artists. So. One of the one of the dopest things that I, I see, man, in, in in the Dallas area, for because we're here in Dallas, you see. You see uh, different producers, my boy 88 is sitting behind you, you know what I'm saying, shout out, and mm. Ziggy made it, and all these different shout people. Shout out Ziggy, for sure. Ziggy made it, uh, 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 you know, just some dope, uh, produ he he produced tracks for uh, Big X as well. I know they, both of y'all have, and it's crazy, because Sauce Walker was on the track that he produced as well, you know, with Big X, and I thought that was dope. I mean, you know, for him to be as young as he is and moving like he is, right. and 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 I know you guys are all kind of, you know, y'all around each other at times. For sure, yeah. He eighty eight actually placed that beat in that session. How long was that session? You were the one that he was talking about when he called and said, "You seen the episode?" Yeah, yeah. when he said I was the one who's engineering. he was engineering. Ziggy you know, so FaceTime me, and you called him and told him that he was fit to jump on it. That's hard, man. Yeah. That's crazy. That's, that's, that's like a brother of mine. Like, we love Ziggy. Like, he part of the team. He no, part of sure. the family. Like, you know? Wow. You guys are dope, man. And young as hell, you know. So that's that's the part that I really like, that you guys are young and, you know, you guys are are, are getting traction and getting to travel and, and getting to go to the Grammys. You know what I'm saying? This is hard, man. Very hard. What about, that. like, how does the, like, even if, if you get nominated, it could go as far as, do they still do the MTV Awards and all that? Uh, I know they have the, the AMAs. Yeah, the AMAs. Yeah, AMAs. Yeah. yeah, we won an AMA this year. Y'all did. Mm -hmm. For uh, wait for you. Wait for you mm -hmm. and right. DJ Khaled. DJ Khaled. Mm -hmm. So do you ever meet these people, or are you just straight business? Uh, straight business. Straight drop. They use my client stuff. They reach out to me to clear the business. I make sure we can get the highest like fees possible. And make sure everything is cool. So you to be their the team though, right? You used to be their lawyers or their team that reach out to you guys, right? Yeah, for sure. Wow. Yeah, all nego business negotiations, uh, you know, asking for budgets. So you know, and it's funny. Money. I think when you touched on this a little bit last time, like when you came on the show, it was like you basically a lot of times don't get to connect with these people until it's too late. So when you connect with them, most of the time it's in uh, uh, it's a, a re it's really pretty much to say, hey guys, you got to pay for this. You can't take it. Right, we got it. We have a conflict, and now we got it. It's you the conflict. It. Yeah. Are you able to spin it around to a positive at any time with these guys? Always, always bridge the gap with the relationships, so we can keep working with them. Because like all my clients are dope, bro. You I know, know you. Okay, so, so but you got to think about it. If you come in and you take some down that I got a million views, a, 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 a thirty million views on, mm. you take it down. Who is this dude, man? What is he doing? Right. A he's loop? A, what did you talk? I don't know about a loop. I'm an artist. I right. don't know nothing about no loop. What did you talking about, bro? I bought this beat. Right. From I bought this from such and such. Right. Yeah, but he used the loop. Am I on it? Is this way it's going down or yeah. no? Yeah, it's going. Because most time the artist is not really that that in tune like that. No, not at all. But there are teams. So every time an artist makes a song and a major label puts out the song, it's a, it's a sample for him, and a lot of producers choose to skip over that sample for him. So. You know, it's really on them. But have artists like that's why Soldier Boy, anybody would be upset because they don't know what the hell you talking about a lot. Of, him is different because yeah, he do beats. Soldier Boy, I don't know, man. He, him is dude, different. That dude, because he do beats. He crazy, bro. But he do beats, so he knows. Yeah, he definitely knows. So he's basically just doing it because he think he can just take some. Well, yeah, you, they can take advantage of these kids overseas. Yeah. So. Take advantage of the kills. Take some. Pay him fifty dollars for a beat. Wow, fifty? 
make millions off a song. It's, it's crazy, bro. I'm trying to tell you. What's the worst case you've seen? Down, you hadn't even do it, the worst you've seen today. The record, today was the, the record. Worst? We just took down this big German record. It has uh, big German. It's a German record, right? Yeah. Uh, it's like the biggest it. artist in Germany. Okay. They made the song made it over 200k. We took the song down today. So. Wow. It's gonna be a good payday. <laughs> So he's gonna call you back. Right. He's gonna wonder yeah. why his son, why it got taken down. Yeah, for sure. And we have like copyright declarations, like on the date that my producers made these loops and different things like that. So like, it's literally no way around it. And if you don't want to pay, then we can go to litigations. And litigations wow. in the U.S. can range. It's, it starts at one hundred and ninety thousand. So how do you find the loop? How do you how do how do you know? How do, is there some piece of equipment? Is there some? How That's do you, what we talked about earlier. Okay, I'm sorry. Oh yeah, we. Um, yeah. I, I missed it because I had. To, but the, de the detector. What is the detector? What do y'all got? Uh, we're partnered with this Chinese company. It's like, uh, and we. I can't give the name, the name away because okay. the NDA. But um, we use them to run loops and they'll return. They'll scan the loops and return all the songs that have used my client's loops, and we'll go get those songs. And you have to pay them. They have to pay us. No, you had to pay them for finding those for using them. Oh yeah, but it's like pennies on the dollar. Okay, well it it, it seemed like you figured out how to get an ROI out of this situation yeah, for sure. For sure. So all companies don't have that luxury to have that to do that with. So how does other companies? You mean like, find, like for like, loops like, like that company, that Chinese company? Because you're not giving the name. So mm -hmm. are there other companies like that? Who do that for other um, artists to make sure that you talking about that company or my company? That company, um, I believe. So we've researched it. It's like two or three more companies like okay, that. Okay, so there's but not they many. Use it, it's like a they use it as a service, right? So, yeah. Okay, because I was just wondering what do everybody else use to find out to make sure? Okay, Shazam, really? Everybody here in the okay. US they use like Shazam, okay. different things. How like that. accurate is that? Um, it's it's okay. It still misses some. The stuff, the program that we use, it still misses some sometimes. Okay. But you know, it's all about just trying to get what you can get, and then you know, the rest of it will come to you. For like that big record, somebody that knew him heard it and he brought it over. That's so. really the main the main way yeah. is for people to let y'all know. Yeah, it'll be big records, so okay. people will hear it. Yeah. Future's album. I never uh the song wait for you. Uh, just give me a spiel on how you guys was even, how did that even happen for us with your clients? Israel called me one day. He was like, hey, bro. He was like, uh, they used, they sampled uh, me playing my bass guitar on Wait For You. Because um, the original Wait For You, it doesn't have that bass, like the progressions in the notes. It doesn't have that um, bass line in Wait For You. It has Israel's bass line. So they sent the track outs from the Genius Live version over to ATL Jacob and FNZ, um, or to ATL Jacob actually, because FNZ made the sample, um, and they put his bass on. That's the bass line you hear throughout Wait For You. Wow. Yeah, so hey. we reached out, um, you know, we kind of, we had to be stiff with him and let him know like, hey, if you guys don't do like a standard agreement, then you know, we'll have to move forward with other other ways to handle that, so. And they was able to com compensate. Yeah, for sure. Um, and Israel's Israel's like his own boss. We have a unique business situation. Um, you know, he uh, I'm kind of like a consultant. I help him out. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So that's how that came about. Wow. So just to get into the music a little bit, because I know you be DJing and everything, so you got your ears to the street like crazy. Mm -hmm. Like when you think about the Dallas area and, and, and who do you see that you're liking the music that comes from whoever in this Dallas market uh, yeah. that you, you're, you're proud to be affiliated with, the that makes you proud to be here in the Dallas area. Right. So what artists that I'm affiliated yeah, with? Yeah, but not even affiliated with, that your ears are affiliated with. You uh, don't even have to know them, but you you heard a sound that you, you liked. Yeah, Big X to plug for sure. Big X? Um, Jace. Am I saying that right, Jace? Jace? Yeah, Jace, we did I-8 for Jace. He's from, uh, I know he's from uh, Fort Worth area. I believe, okay. I think so. Um 12 gauge of course free uh, free 12 gauge um who else got since i like sensei molly little brook is dope oh splurge shout out be by jeff wow um who else who am i missing <laughs> gorilla huh gorilla with the beats for sure. oh yeah Gor gorilla oh yeah gorilla we talking about artists though artists who else uh uh, Rosama, Rosama, right? Rosama for sure. yeah, Straight Rosama. up, Rosama out of East Texas, man. Get the big shout out. Yeah, Rosama's dope. You sure. like Rosama? Yeah. 
He was on here. He flipped out on here. <laughs> I got to check that out. I didn't 16, see that I didn't 16 see he went hard for a minute. Oh, yeah. And, and chanting, too. Enchanting, man. I hadn't had on this show, but I definitely would like to get on the show. Cash Page. For Cash sure. Page. I was just talking about her today. Man, Cash, These are people her. that that I really album. think are dope, you know? Man. Her album is fire. You like it? It yeah. just came out here recently, didn't it? Mm -hmm. And you listened to the whole album? Yeah. Well, did you have any work on that one? Or did y'all even work no, on that one? No, not at all. Not at all, just, just uh, like uh, Sonic had a lot of work on that. Sonic's my guy, so... Okay, that's yeah. hard, man. I love Sonic's work. He's a great, great producer. Wow. Mm. I got one more. Matt K. Yeah, Matt K. Matt K. Yeah. Matt K. Hard. Yeah, one of the hardest working artists that I've seen in Dallas for a while. Yeah, for Very sure. Very hard working artist. Him and Rosama. Hey. Yeah, they going in. Yeah. That's gonna be that's gonna be live. So 2023, who y'all think is gonna be? Who gonna break loose and 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 basically the, out of the artists? Uh, let's get the prediction right now. DJ Ice's prediction on who's going to be the hottest artist to come out of Dallas in 2023. Going to show up big. Can, it could be more than one. Or just one artist. Damn. That, it got to be two. One artist. <laughs> just because I know it was about to happen, Jace. So. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, Jay. So you have some insider view on it. For sure. He's he with the right people. Jay. Yeah. So I am need I to be, am I fan right? So yeah. I need to get him on Boss Town. For sure. Send him over here. Yeah. I think oh. he's like a he's just not 88. He's not moving around cuz he's on house arrest. Oh, you on house arrest. Yeah. So I need to go over there with the with the mics and talk to him or what? Yeah, you should for sure. Pull up on him. Yeah. What, what I need to do? I need to be strapped to when I see him. Nah. I don't know I mean, what this, what this know, little nigga looking for, man. Like that. What he doing, man? I don't know him you like know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> nah, but like if he about to pop off for this year, but he on house arrest, how he gonna that's do that? That's hard too. Cause I mean, you just gotta look at the, certain things like uh, his his page. He doesn't really have anything. He's just now putting stuff on his page, so he's probably just about to get off house arrest. And, okay. Uh, I mean, the label paid us timely for the beat. They paid. Ziggy, and they paid my client okay. um, on time. And the, the label he signed to, like, it's a really good label. So, okay. Yeah, for sure. Wow. So you think, you, so you say Ch Jace. Yeah, Jace and Big X are plug. Oh, you, oh, you, oh, you had to say Big X, huh? That was the first yeah, name he said, but why, I meant to ask you why Big X was the first name on the tip of your tongue. Why Big X? Yes. Um, just because it's all, like, organic. Because everybody, he, when you ask really anybody, rap. it's it's Big X. It's always Big X. Yeah, he could really rap for sure. And he has like a great team behind him. So. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wow. Big X the plug. Shout out. I'm going to call it, but that boy, that be on it too. Yeah. He can rap, but that nigga deep voice. Though. Yeah, he works hard. Works a lot. You know what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm going to be looking though. We're going to see if somebody, I don't know. You might have a, you might have somebody come out of, you know, if I asked you this last year, that, wasn't it Glow Rilla last year that had one of the biggest songs? Yeah, uh, yeah, Glow Rilla, yeah, yeah, last year. But if I'd have asked you, you wouldn't have never said Glow Rilla. Mm -mm. Nobody, would, even nobody would have even said her. Now we got her about to be her next biggest song. We got that for sure. So that's, see what that's I'm saying? Crazy. So that's why I'm saying you might have a breakout artist that'll just shut down your list, whatever you thought. Yeah, was, if the right hit come, the internet can't even contain it. Luckily, we got placements with him, so we'll see. <laughs> I, I'm curious about something. Yeah. If Glorilla and Big X got on a song together, do you think that'd be a hard song? Yeah, for sure. The production would have to be, like, fire, though. And it would work because uh, Big X raps on, like, Memphis-type beats. So mm -hmm. yeah. I'm just thinking about both of their voices. Yeah. It'll go. <laughs> they, could, they should make, like, a club record or some shit. Wow. How can people get a hold of you, man, if they're trying to holler at you? Uh, my IG is official DJ Ice, and then my label page is a one uh, m u dot or m u s dot i c. Man, DJ Ice, man, eighty eight, man, and give me his name one more time because I don't want to mess it up. Gorilla, Gorilla three two three. Gorilla he three taught me, two he taught me three. How to make beats. Taught me everything I yeah, know. For sure. Already, man. Hey, man. Thank you guys for coming on the show. Mm -hmm. We gonna do it again and again and again. Are you gonna stay gone? You gone a year, wasn't he, babe? Mm -hmm. And gone a year. I'll, let's do six months. I'll come back six months. Yeah, you're supposed to come back. You, no. See where yeah. I'm at then? No, because so. we working. 
What yeah. y'all talking about? Maybe in th if you win a Grammy or something, you should be coming back uh, in, in about a month. Oh, yeah, we'll come back then. Yeah, huh. you both pull up, be like, we want it. We want it. Take pictures. I can pop them up and everything. For sure, man. I got you. So you got me? Oh, yeah, I got you. So you be seeing Ziggy on there? You be seeing all the yeah. shows? We working. Ziggy, with A1. Ziggy, Ziggy pulls up. Yeah. He gonna call me, text me, E, I'm, yeah, I'm here. Let's do it. Yeah, he like to come on Boss Talk. This is his first interview ever. What about yours? Is this your first interview? It's my uh, second. Second one? It's my second one. This the hard one. Third, my third one. It's my third one. Third one? Uh, third one. Oh, that's hard still. Hey, man, thank you guys for coming on the show. We love you, DJ sure. Iceman. Hey, man, and it's always going to be respect. Appreciate you for always picking up when I call. Yes, sir. It's a real genuine relationship. For sure. And it's been another great segment. Yes, sir. See how I break it down now? It's different now. Yes, sir. A Boss Talk 101 where the bosses talk. Shout out Boss Talk 101. Hey. Appreciate you, man. And we out.